Okay, we're doing the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. We can trust God to guide us. All right, ready? The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord, and he delighteth in his way. Though we fall, though we fall, he shall not be cast down, for the Lord upholdeth him with his hand. Hey, welcome back to another episode of How It Works. So I'm here in front of my car back there. That's a Prius uh, car right there. It's a, there you go, he's still working right there. But I've got a problem with my car. So the Prius is actually a car that has both gas and electric uh, engines in it. And so they have a gas engine like most cars do that take gasoline and work just fine on that. But it also has an electric battery, uh, the hybrid, so it's a hybrid battery where it can go off of both gas or electric. And so I'm having a problem with my electric battery. So the next time that you see me, I'm gonna be uh, in here working on uh, my battery and I'm gonna show you all how it works. So we've got a normal up here, we've got a normal engine just like anywhere else, but in the back of the Prius, I come in here, open this up. Actually back here, looks just like any trunk, right? But actually back here, there is a big battery, really big battery, much bigger than you normally think of. And so I'm gonna pull everything out of here and then the next time that you see this, you're gonna see a big, huge hybrid electric battery and we'll just see how that thing works. Uh, we've gotten it all taken apart and now we're actually down to the battery. So this big piece right here, this is the battery, the hybrid battery. So over here is just the regular battery like is in every car right here. But this is the hybrid battery and now I've gotta pull everything off of, of this and pull this out, it's really heavy. So it's a heavy battery, but I'm gonna get it all disconnected, pull it out, and then from there, I'll be able to show you inside what it looks like inside, how it works inside, and then we'll see if we can fix it. All right, here we have one empty Prius later. Battery is removed. On to the next step. All right, so here it is. Here is the hybrid battery. This big old thing, it's actually, uh, it is, uh, about 80 pounds, so it's a pretty heavy battery. I've got to take it out of the vehicle now. Now we're gonna, I'm gonna show you what it actually looks like on the inside and how it works. Um, just I just double check to make sure over here that the safety plug has been pulled out. We did that at the very beginning, but still wanna double check. Safety is our number one priority, all right? So pull this off, I've already removed. There's a whole bunch of nuts and bolts. I've already uh, removed them off of here. So I'm gonna pull off this housing. Here it is. This is the battery. Okay, now, this is actually, if you look, this is a battery. It's actually 28 individual batteries. Um, they're actually, I think they're called like nickel metal hydride batteries. And so each one of these batteries, they're connected in series. If you look right here, there's a, a plus, a minus, and then a plus, a minus, and a plus, a minus, and a plus. So these are all connected all together, and this forms this uh, this uh, hybrid battery that is used for the Prius. So a couple of things I just want to point out to you um, before I go and um, actually get this done. This here is uh, actually just used, they put these on the battery so that way if there's for any reason, if one of the batteries, some of the acid were to leak out, um, it wouldn't corrode everything else. Um, there's, uh, each one of these batteries are connected here. 
with some screws here and I'm gonna I'll pull those off in in a minute here uh, and pull all those screws off uh, and then what I'll do is um, I'm gonna test each one of these uh, individual batteries the batteries when they're pulled off look like this okay just like this and so uh, what I'll do is I'll test each one of these batteries, test the voltage on them, and then see if there's any um, that are bad in here. And again, we have a bad battery, but actually most of these batteries, 28 batteries, are gonna be okay. Um, probably one or two or three of them is gonna have a problem, and so if I can figure out which ones are wrong, <laughs> bless you, Jennifer. <laughs> if I can figure out which one of these are uh, wrong, then what I'll do is I'll pull those out get a new battery, you can get a new battery for like, a new one of these batteries for like $30 um, on Amazon and get them shipped here. Otherwise, if I was to buy a whole new battery, if I went to a Toyota right now and got this whole new battery, it would cost me $4,500. Yes, $4,500 for them to put a new battery and everything in. So uh, for hopefully under 100 bucks, I can get uh, this fixed as long as we can identify which ones are wrong. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, guys, I just want to show you real quick. Now I've got one of these batteries. I wanted to show you um, how I would actually test this. I'd get a voltmeter here, and then I would go and I'd go and I'd put uh, and check this. I'd put positive on positive, negative on negative. I check the volts on this, and this is 8.3. Um, now, that's this is actually a good battery. Uh, most of the time when I would check if they were uh, not working well, they'd be six something. And so then I knew those were bad and I pulled those out. And so I go through and I checked, checked every single one of them uh, and we pull, put in three new uh, batteries um, or reconditioned batteries that we put back in there. So now I've got almost all put back together. Uh, I'm gonna put it back in the car and then we will test it out, all right? So fingers crossed. All right, here's the, here's the moment of truth. Before I put everything else, I got all the other pieces I gotta put back in. Before I do that, I'm gonna actually plug in the battery back into the main battery. There it is. All right, get the last one put back in there. Then what I'm gonna do is get my, this is the last piece uh, that I put in. This will make it live again where I can go ahead and check the battery. All right, so the hard part, whew, the hard part is over. So I've got everything put back together. You can see that I've got the battery back inside. I didn't put all the interior back together yet though because the next thing I need to do is now the moment of truth. I'm gonna test it and hopefully fingers crossed it all starts up and it's working so here we go I'm gonna go ahead and start it and hopefully this thing works okay here we go ha <laughs> all right yes okay Woo! all the hard work was not in vain you can see uh, everything's starting up there used to be this big uh, over here this big red triangle of death light that was on it they call it the red triangle of death because the battery is dead and it's not on there anymore. So that is great, yes! I'm so excited, I got this thing fixed and for under 100 bucks, I'm excited and hopefully you guys learned a little bit of how it works. So I'm gonna get the rest of this thing put together and we are done, all right, yes! Woo. Read your Bible, pray every day, pray every day, pray every day. Read your Bible, pray every day and you'll grow.